Hi, in this tutorial we're going to look at how to validate an HTML5 document. Now it's easy as you start to develop to make mistakes as you type and the web browsers that we use on desktop and laptop computers are very powerful and they do their best to display the web page as closely as it thinks it should despite how badly you might be coding something. But it's really important now to make sure that your code is correct and valid because of mobile devices. Our cell phones, our smartphones and tablet devices don't have the power that a regular desktop or laptop computer has. So their browsers may not be able to display the pages as you would expect them to if there are errors. It's important to make sure your code is correct and valid as well so that all the different browsers will do their best to render the page properly. So here I have a sample page that I'm going to walk through validating and checking. And you can see that on here the page displays fine and it is so a user coming here wouldn't have any problems with trying to use and work with the page. But we want to make sure that our code is valid and correct. And there is a service that is available. It's the W3C Markup Validation Service. This is free and we can take our code and we can either, if it's uploaded onto a server, we can put in the URI for where it is on your server to test it. We can upload the file, which is what I'm going to be doing in these examples. We can also directly input in the code here. So I'm going to be working with file upload. So this is the code for my page. And what I'm going to do to begin with is just upload it into the validation service. So I'm going to choose the file and then click check. And it's going to tell me that I have errors in here as validating this as HTML5. So first of all, how does it know that we wanted to validate this as HTML5 versus any of the other versions of HTML? Again, if I go back into my code, the beginning line, we have our doc type declaration. The doc type declaration declares what type of document or what type of HTML document this is. So that particular doc type declaration is the specification for HTML5. There are other doc type declarations for XHTML, HTML4, HTML4 transitional. So that is what is being used to determine how to check the rest of the document to make sure that it follows those specifications. So let me go back in and let's look at the first error. Now I recommend just starting with the first error and fixing that because sometimes other errors that you have appear can be caused by a domino effect. So one error might be causing other ones. So if you fix the first one, it might fix some of the other ones later on. So this says line 16, an image element must have an alt attribute. So this is where using an editor that has line numbers comes in handy, can help you quickly find your way in the document. But we have our image tag and it's missing the alt attribute which is required. So I'm going to put in alt equals banner image. Then I'm going to make sure I save my file and then I'm going to re-upload it to revalidate it. Okay, now I'm down to seven errors. And again, I'm going to come down and find just the first one. And it says, line 17, no P element in scope, but a P and tag seen. So I said, these are pretty cryptic. And after a while, you know, you can look at the line and start to get an idea of what's wrong with it. It shows you where it got with the problem. So if we go to line 17, 
this is something that I see very commonly where you might be creating a paragraph and then you're trying to format it by using heading tags. So what this is essentially saying is that we have a paragraph and a heading. So this text in here is supposed to be a paragraph and a heading at the same time, which it's not possible to do. It has to be one or the other. So since this is our title, then this is going to be a heading one. So I'm going to save this and then let me switch back to my browser and we'll re-upload this and then revalidate it. The number's going down slowly. Six errors. Okay, the next error, line 24, n tag strong violates nesting rules. And it shows me, again, the point of where things went awry. So let's go over to line 24. And it was talking about nesting rules. So this text in between, we have a strong tag and we have an emphasis tag, all formatting this text. Now we are allowed to use multiple tags in order to format the text, but the issue is with the order of the tags. Now you can see here that the strong tag is on the outside and then the emphasis tag is in closer to the text. And then the closing strong tag is in closer to the text and then the closing emphasis tag is on the outside. When we're talking about nesting, we're talking about the order of these tags. So since this strong tag is on the outside, then the closing strong tag here must be on the outside. If you could think of it in terms of if you had to draw arrows to match them up, I could draw an arrow from here over to this closing tag and another arrow from strong to its closing tag without crossing the lines. And that's one way to know that you have them nested properly. So I'll save my file and then we'll re-upload it again and revalidate it. Okay, now down to four errors. And the next one is element P not allowed as child element of unordered list. So line 35 and we can see we have a paragraph here. Now the paragraph looks like it's correct, but it could be the placement of it. So let's look at line 35. Okay, line 35. And we have a, a correctly formed paragraph, but the problem is it's inside an unordered list. The only thing that you need or that you can have inside an unordered list are list item tags. So this can't be inside an unordered list. So I'm going to move it outside of here so it's on its own. And again, I'm going to save and we'll re-upload it. And revalidate. Okay, three errors. So we're moving right along. It says line 41, element P not allowed as child element of H2 in this context. So we have a paragraph tag and it kind of just falls off from there. So let's go to line 41. You can see that line 41, we start with a paragraph tag. It has a closing paragraph tag and that all looks okay. So when it doesn't appear right on the line and you don't see any problem with that, you can go start going backwards from there. So I can say from here, I can see I have an opening H2 tag but there's no closing H2 tag. So we'll add that in and save and then revalidate. All right, so we have successfully checked as HTML5 and then we have one warning. Okay, and our warning in here is that this is an experimental HTML5 conformance checker and it's also telling you that if you have style sheets in there, then you can validate your style sheet using the CSS validation service. And that works similarly, only you're using your style sheets to
to make sure they are properly formed and correct.